my dudes welcome back to the videos um, so today is a little bit of an exciting one um, because today we will be uh, revealing another project car however uh, this project car is a very similar setup like I have with my cousin um, a friend of mine is actually a very good friend um, I would say he's one of my day one friends um, and actually lives very close to me so he has recently bought a car in actual fact before he bought this car he bought a VTEC uh, about a month ago and he's asked me to help him with the VTEC however um, just uh, I think last week um, he bought a FN2 Type R uh, in my favorite color a red one so yeah uh, just last week he bought it and then he even put on a noise boys exhaust I think it's 76 mil exhaust and then just yesterday he did a, a dyno run just to see what power it's making um, I think he mentioned that it made 164 on the dyno um, I'll just add that video over here that is the power that he made um what we're also going to do is do a few power mods as well he did mention that he wants to fit an induction as well as he wants to go on data um so in future uh, what i do plan on doing is maybe just taking you guys with for that um, power mods and taking you guys with to the dyno and showing you guys the different power that he makes uh, unfortunately i was not there for the first dyno run um, because i wasn't available However, uh, going forward, I will try to tag you guys along. However, um, uh, for today, um, he did mention that the car does have a little, of, um, a little bit of a few scratches on it. So what he wants to do today is maybe just touch up um, those scratches. At the same time, I'll just take my OEM bumpers and try to fix them up as well. And then we also got a universal lip um, temporarily or temporary because uh, we do have some um mods coming in in future for the car so the lip will just be there for a short while and then we're going to change it um then also this section of the video will <laughs> i can actually hear him pull up okay guys so this is the fn2 type r and this is also my friend for us yo what's up so this is uh the new what i would call a new project that we are going to work on going forward uh hope you guys are excited for this as well let me just give you guys a walk around this is the rear of the car car looks very uh, fairly oem still the standard height standard rims this is the interior of the car and maybe just open the, the bonnet though. Okay, so this is the engine bay. I'm already seeing uh, things that we are going to do. Uh, we might just have to do the tappet cover in the wrinkle red again. And then obviously we're going to do the induction as well. Okay guys, so what for us does want me to do is uh, just to maybe touch up this little scratch over here. Then there is a few chip marks, um, like I think this one over here. And then there's another scratch I think you mentioned over here. And then this is the lip that he wants me to fit. This is a universal lip, so you guys can fit it on um, any car basically. Uh, but like I did mention, this is only temporary. Um, we do have some other um, parts coming in in future so please do stay tuned for that as well guys so what I do recommend you guys do before actually fitting this lip uh, it comes up a hold up so I would recommend you guys having a heat gun and then just heat it up so that um, you get the correct shape what I'd also recommend you guys doing is just wipe off um, where the lip is going to fit as well um, with some thinness or even petrol will work just so that you can get it a little bit clean and it can stick better what I also noticed is that uh, this isn't actually real 3M tape 
so it's not going to stick that well so heating up this um, can help what we're also going to do is maybe just um, use some soft tappers on areas where it's not really sticking well Okay guys, so this is what the universal lip needs to look like after you have uh, used the heat gun. Uh, it forms this round shape over here. Um, I'm kind of skeptical about this, I don't know how this is going to stick. Um, I think I do need to use some uh, the heat gun to just heat it up to give it a little bit of a better stick. But yeah, I think I'm going to start from this side and then move right around all, all the way to the other side this is my first attempt um, or this is my first encounter with um, this universal lip as well so i hope it does go as planned Okay guys, so this is kind of what the lip looks like. This lip is extremely difficult to fit or extremely difficult to actually make perfect. It's almost like uh, wrapping a car, I would say. So you have to shape it across or you have to shape it around the whole time. This has to basically flow down. Um, this you can't get away with. I tried to actually heat this down. This will look cool if it's heated down like this. Um, what I also did was I cut up pieces like this over here just so that um, I can put it underneath here and then basically keeps this whole section straight over here guys so this is what the lip looks like this is actually the most difficult lip I've ever put on in my life uh, there's a lot of adjustments needed um, over here I just removed a few and then just put them in again unfortunately it has uh, it is going to move like this however it is looking a bit better as we continue we just have to do this side now so like I mentioned before um, with this lip you're never gonna actually really get it perfect because it is a universal lip and you guys saw the shape of the lip first it's basically shaped in a curve where this whole front has a whole lot of shapes um, so yeah most difficult lip I fit, fitted but like we did mention temporary lip and then we are fitting a different lip I will reveal what lip we are um, fitting in future we also got a rear wing footed as well it's not going to be the Mugen rear wing but yeah um, we're just going to finish up quickly
guys so this is what the lip looks like um, I say it's not perfect this is the Chinatown lip so it is very cheap um, I spoke to a friend of mine Nathaniel uh, with a black type art he did mention that uh, these lips do not uh, fit perfectly however he did mention that uh, the ones that are, that you buy at Amazon I think they're around 600 Rand if I'm not mistaken they sit a little bit better than this but I mean with the 600 Rand you can uh, just add a little bit more and buy you an actual lip so yeah this is a quick and easy mod for the type R but like I did mention this is only temporary we are going to fit our other lip on uh, the type R in future then what we do also uh, need to do is maybe just um, do the little touch up over here and then we'll be almost done with the type R what Nathaniel did also mention and a lot of other guys is that um, as you add the lip on your car in future um, it will obviously shape the lip uh, better onto the bumper as well so as we go on I'll maybe just give you guys an update in future um, what the lip looks like after um, the lip does get a lot of heat and shape the bumper Hey guys, so this is what the Type R looks like. Um, I must say we are kind of happy with um, the outcome. Like we mentioned, the lip is going to form itself and this is only temporary. Um, if you guys do like the outcome, please do give this video a thumbs up. And if you do look forward um, to seeing this Type R more, he's going to be a lot more on the channel. Be in mind, the car is also going to a buff. Um, we basically just got the car last week so as you can see here so if you scratch it it's all going to be sorted out as well so yeah guys we're just going for a little bit of a drive and then um, slight change of plan instead of me adding the nostalgic video um, we do plan on actually going to some races tonight so I might just add that at the end of the video so please stay tuned for that
dudes if you're watching this just like to thank you for making it to the end of my video and uh, then also if you guys do like the new project car uh, please do give this video a thumbs up also just maybe mention in the comments what you'd like to see us do in future with the type r uh, the type r is something that i am actually looking forward to working on uh, i know a lot of guys like i think in the us you guys don't usually get the fn2 type r's um i know a lot of uh, the uk guys maybe can relate because i think the uk um got the type r's i think the type r is or the fn2 type r is very popular in um places like turkey as well so yeah um just a little bit of a we didn't say story but just a little bit of um some facts on the type r um that i've learned from jeremy clarkson the type r is only one more horsepower one more kilowatt more than um the ep3 um the ep3 is a little bit lighter so in some type of way it is a little bit faster as well so yeah um the fn2 type r is a very popular car in south africa and in cape town um so yeah i can't stress it more that i'm very excited to actually be a part of the type r like i mentioned in future what we do have upcoming is that the car is going to have um induction as well as on data what i did fail to mention is that my friend for was uh, does also plan on fitting cams so like i mentioned that i will tag you guys along for the whole process i unfortunately will not be fitting the cams or the on data um, but yeah i'll tag you guys along show you the whole process um, it all depends on when he's available and when i'm available as well but i'll try to show you guys as much as possible so yeah i hope you guys are excited as i am for the new type r fn2 um, project that we have going um, so yeah guys if you did like this video please do give this video a thumbs up it does really help with the video hope to see you guys in the next one peace